people are what make a city into a community. Here in Mesquite, our community thrives because of our people, our friends and family, co-workers and church members, both young and old. They all come together for the betterment of their neighbors on addressing Mesquite Day. What we have done for the last 13 years is quite extraordinary, and last year was no different. With the support of more than 1,400 volunteers, we were able to make Addressing Mesquite Day history by helping 116 homeowners in need. Even more remarkable is the amount of young Mesquite residents that got involved. I go to John Horn High School and I'm really like happy to be involved with our community and being able to help other people. We're just doing some yard work, getting some of the windows clean and just waking up all the leaves. The lady's really nice and wonderful and being able to help her is really awesome. I said, uh, this is what we're going to do and they all said, great. When is it? What do I need? <laughs> And what time do I need to be there? You got a lot of good help here. Oh, I do. Man. It's been fantastic. All this had grown up in the late last year when I couldn't take care of it. And I, you know, I was, I was at my wit's end. So the, these are a godsend, these kids. I think it's great for the kids too, because now they get to give back. They say kids have gone bad. That's not true. Not always true, is it? There's anything that we can do for the community, our group is all about that. Probably this is the biggest group I've ever had. I have to limit how many kids can come each time, and they're all willing to help every day. Every day when I come to work, I'm reminded how great our kids are. Selfishly, these kids wake up every day. Some of them have volleyball games last night. Some of them have band competitions today, but they take time out their day, week in and week out. And that's, that's what motivates me. Is just, I, I see how good these kids are every day. Yeah, it serves with a purpose to come and get back to the community and kind of, you know, put things in perspective. Just knowing that we can always put other people first, you know, and not always ourselves. It's a good experience for us to come together and have fellowship and do things together. It's one of our missions is being servant leaders, so it's a great way to learn how to do that. We actually took on the challenge to, to help beautify yeah. the city of Mesquite, so that's why I got my kids out here. Young people are the first ones to jump in and volunteer and, and make an improvement in our community. They do. So sometimes you just need a little steering. Yeah. But nine times out of ten, once you get somebody on a certain path, they start bringing along the individuals who have the same mind frame. Right. Same want the challenges, same want that structure, mm -hmm. um, but our young people in Mesquite are doing great. How amazing is it when young people see the importance of giving back to their community? I am so proud of what they did. But there's more work to be done, and I hope you will join us and help on this year's Addressing Mesquite Day on Saturday, October 7th.